What's up guys, what's going on? Campout coming at you with a review. As you can see, a few beams, A6 Tiger, let me turn it this way so we see what's going on. As you can tell, the box is very, very small. You may have seen it on her IG today. Uh, KB, shout out for letting me shoot the review of these bad boys super early, or early for the States, that is. Uh, orange is the color, black is the color, men's gel A3, CM23.5, UK4, US5 is what's stamped on the box here. Uh, you can see this orange uh, style across the entire box. This symbolizes the Koi uh, coloring for the sneaker. Uh, the sneaker's already out. I'm just gonna pull out the extra laces real quick and get into the review. All right, so uh, here's your sneaker, <laughs> chilling. Best part about doing a review on a KB sneaker is the fact that it fits in the middle of your hand. Anyway, um, I know you guys wanna see the compare and contrast on material from the original Koi or the 25th anniversary Koi to this one. I'm just gonna go over this shoe and then I'll do the compare and contrast later. I'll do a timestamp now. So. Off the bat, toe cap uh, has a nice plush feel to it. Uh, we'll get into that comparison, like I said, later. Uh, toe box, a little bit more flat than I'd expect it to be, considering the toe boxes or the toe cap is so flush or um, has such a good brush stroke, but it is what it is. Uh, medial panel on the lateral side, you got the furry sway going up the entire grommet area. The center two grommets are wood grain like the bento box. I'll probably do a little zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, it's still. Anyway, uh, definitely a clean little effect to it. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the bento box here. Uh, so if you do have the bento box, I, I, I'm not sure what exactly is it. I'll throw a couple of pictures up. I know there's like a top shelf to it, whatever. Get back to the shoe. Underlay on the tiger striping is a perf leather. Uh, it looks tumbled, but we'll get into that when we do the actual inner portion of the split tongue with the material itself. Upper layer is like a python, black, flat, a6 Tiger striping, very clean, has a nice feel to it, super thick, feels kind of durable. I like the effect that it gives to the shoe. Black is in a nice strong pop. Uh, lower portion, obviously midsole we'll get into after rolling into the heel cup area. You got a nice suede again with the few stamping in there. Looks like 3M, but it's probably just a flat white on the underlay or the debossing. So it's probably painted in there if you guys can see what I'm talking about, it's not 3M. Uh, it has a nice feel to it. <sighs> doesn't feel like the best, doesn't feel like the worst, but it feels very nice, I will say that. Across the heel cap or across the heel cup area, you have uh, your what, Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's Japanese. Uh, and then you have your globe across here, uh, a few, and then you also have, uh, oh my God, beams. <laughs> Insignia inside the heel window, A6 Tiger across the top. That is embroidered in. I always like the embroidery when they do that across the top portion there. You got a little hit of brown across the collar here or the Achilles counter on the top portion here. Very, very nice. We'll get into the medial side real quick. Mirrored from the lateral side, wood grain in your center. Uh, the differential on the medial and lateral is the grommet area for the last loop of the lace. One is orange, the outside is black. I forgot to mention that before. Uh, you do have laces on here. The laces are white and black. The white laces have the beams, ASICs, and a few stamping on there as you guys can see from across here, but the black pair does not. It just has it on the lace tips. I'm not sure if these tips have the lace. Nope, they do not. So the aglets on here or the lace tips on the black pair have the names of the brands on them, whereas the white pair has it in the actual lace itself, which is kind of fire. I think white lace looks really good. Maybe even an orange lace in here might look fire too. So if I uh, get my hands on the pair anytime soon, <laughs> I'll give you guys a lace swap. Uh, sorry about the audio on this, but there's also extra insoles. Uh, just saw them in the bag, so I want to show them to you guys real quick. So you have the ones that come in there that mimic the box, as I showed you before, and then there's ones that look exactly, when you piece them together, they look like the koi fish. When you match them up, they make the koi fish. Definitely fire as well. Pretty dope. But let's get into the material on the, the split tongue area. So I'm probably gonna have to change the lighting on this just a little bit. Maybe I could do it here. Variation on the leather. If you crumble up loosely paper and then you open it back up, it's kind of what the leather looks like on the split tongue area. And it also has that same effect on the perf leather on the underlay of the tiger striping, which is why I want to get to it now. So you guys get a feel for it. The leather feels soft, but it doesn't feel as supple as some of the other, um, higher grade collaborations from earlier on. I, I will say that, but it, it definitely feels different. So texturally, it's definitely a little off, but not in a bad way, but whatever is what it is. Uh, let's get into the outsole real quick. So if you guys remember from the first one, you had the, the color blocking to kind of symbolize the koi fish. This is very much more similar. You also have the koi fish in the heel. 
in the icy heel portion of the shoe itself. Same thing from the original Koi. So very, very fire. Overall, uh, the orange is definitely a good look. Definitely a clean shoe. Uh, you got a little speckling on the midsole as well on the gray. I forgot to mention that. Uh, predominantly white across the entire thing until you get to the heel portion where it has a little gray speckling, which is kind of fire. Let me show you the um, the material on the on the original one. It feels or it looks like it has a good brush stroke to it. Feels very very flat though. Toe box is a little bit furrier than maybe this pair. A little inverted on that. But a lot of people complained about the material on this pair. I wasn't mad about it whatsoever. The only thing I did get mad about was some of the bleeding in the uh, the red areas on the laces. But other than that, it's basically the same exact shoe. Um, even down to some of the striations on the leather and the split tongue. Actually feels like exactly the same leather. So I guess that's a good thing. Heel cup area is a little bit more flat than maybe the new one, which is kind of nice too. Uh, I showed you guys the differential a little bit stronger on the, the Koi aesthetic on the outsole on the original pair. They don't have a Koi fish on the original pair. They do have it on the new pair or the orange pair. The, I don't know, you can't even call it reissue, the, the new colorway. <laughs> anyway, same kind of hits across the heel in the, uh, the back portion here. So you have that brown against the Achilles. You got your few, actually it's made a little bit better on this one too, because it's debossed in to the insignia. So it's not just painted on, whereas the uh, 25th anniversary is painted on. Same thing with the patchwork on the back here for a few. Obviously it doesn't say a few, but you know what we're talking about. This is a cross stitch on the outside. This is a stitch throughout the patch itself, which is a different, which is a different effect as well, which is kind of clean. I kind of like this a little bit better. So overall the orange is, uh, is winning for me. They, they definitely brushed up on all the areas that they could have from the original. So they didn't just do the same exact shoe. They, they made some alterations that are for the best. Um, the A6 Tiger logo, you had brush suede on the original. This is like I said, the Python. You still got that perforated underlay. Um, you got the wood grain and the grommets again, which is kind of cool too. So they followed true to tradition there. They did switch up on the grommets on the original pair as well, which one was gold and one is black. We talked about orange and black. Clean, you got the same kind of stamping on the laces from the original pair, which is nice as well. Uh, almost the same exact lace. Very, very fire. Uh, obviously they added beams to the new pair. <laughs> uh, I'm curious about that. I don't know why they added beams, maybe to broaden the release spectrum. I'm not really sure, but let's get into the footbed real quick on both. So that same aesthetic that was on the, uh, on the box is on the footbed as well. So you can see down there, A6 beams, a few um, stamping in there and it's stitched in. So I always like when they do that because it doesn't rub off. It's always a good look and it's a leather tab, it feels like. So that's kind of nice too. And then that same aesthetic from the box is on the rest of the footbed. Uh, the original same thing, it was stitched in, but stitched in the same way that the patch on the back of the shoe was. So it has the cross stitch back here. It has a cross stitch on the uh, pattern on the inside as well. Uh, and this is a different, we don't need to get into that. You guys saw a review of that. But anyway, overall, very, very fire. She got some apparel too, so I took everything to do the review. Uh, the hoodie, the koi fish across the front and the black. Uh, this is a size medium. I think I have to go take some pictures. So you'll probably get some pictures in here as well. Um, very, very clean. So they showed you where beams was and they showed you where a few is. So I, I feel like maybe it's just a way to bridge the gap for dropping the shoe itself, a few in beams, kind of fire. And then there's also an orange one, which I think is fire. I would wear this with uh, some shattered backboards, I'm not gonna lie to you. So if anybody gets the hoodie and wants to sell it to me, I will take it, because now I'm seeing it in hand, it's very, very nice. Uh, it's made very well too. I don't know how many grams it is, but it has the cross weave on the inside, so it's not just like a furry, cheap hoodie. It's really nice, actually. I mean, it's made in China, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Uh, what else is going on up here? This is also medium too, I believe. Yeah, it's a size medium. So, kind of fire. Same thing on the back, I believe, with the globe or across there. So you got beams and a few again. Same thing on the bottom of it. Like I said, it's a really nicely made hoodie. Kind of nice. It's a little thin, it's not thick, but it's still worth it. And I think there's a mug, but I don't know if I have a mug here. She showed me a mug. Anyway, all right guys, hope you liked the review. If you did, shoot a thumbs up. I'm gonna do a quick video while I'm shooting some on feet to these. So that'll be your on foot for the video. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments in the comment section. And as always, I'm out of here. Peace.